2000. Yeah, it's only 2000. <laughs> but I think that the 50s were like a lot different than the 70s. Yeah, oh, for sure. I mean, yeah, shit still changes, but there seemed to be like a huge transition. Maybe it's just in our minds, but I don't know. You know, it was a different era, for sure. Truly. Like the 50s, you know, just... I guess maybe it's like a phone looking back on the 80s and thinking it's all weird and shit. Yeah. But, I don't know. Because that was like the introduction, like the television and, you know, shit like that. Oh, yeah. On a, on a mass scale? Fuck yeah, man. Yeah. You know, radio. You Fucking know, music. Howdy doody and all shit. This, all this shit. Well, yeah, and then along came the fucking... Well, people going into the studio and recording. And Elvis and, and yeah. Bands, you know. Fucking Elvis. Which are, they're still trying to emulate to this day. You know. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Don't you dare mock Elvis, man. <laughs> Fuck off. He's just a hillbilly. Here, how about this motherfucker? Check this shit out. Creep, hey, Creepville. Jump over here when you do the ooby dooby. I just gotta be near ooby dooby. 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 Ooby
of Mr. Les Paul and Mary Ford. Oh, shit. The original badass. Yep, that's some skill right there. Oh, fuck. God, it's, it's just techniqued out so fucking hard. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> The first man to achieve multi-track recording, meaning making a recording of himself playing, then taking that recording, rewinding it, and recording another track of himself playing with, uh, basically playing, accompanying himself. And that's fucking awesome. And that's what that guy brought to the forefront, which, of course, forever changed Modern music and recording completely, forever, indelibly, never to go back. So what year do you think that was? Oh, um, 48, maybe? Here, hold on a second. There's a way we can find out. It's like this. When did less... Paul invent multi track recording. Sound on sound, 1945 to 67. Multi track recording, the genesis of all modern recording, originated in Les Paul's garage. See, the inventor brought us a new world of sound. So, 45. Multi-tracking was developed by the U.S. company Ampex and through the experiments of the guitarist Les Paul. By 1954, Ampex had produced the first 8-track tape machine at Paul's request. But 8-track machines remained rare within the industry until the late 60s. Okay. 54. First Ampex 8-track machine. There you have it, my friend. So, at the very start... You know, of the rock and roll kind of thing, <laughs> you had this simultaneous, uh, brilliant master stroke of uh, technology and invention. Large. Like 60, 65 years. Yeah. Look how far we've come. Is that right? 54, 60? We'll put it at. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 66. Yeah. 66. Yeah, better, you know, 60... Or 65. No, it actually be about 67 this year. 67, yeah. The... But you figure, yeah, man, almost seven years ago, that dude fucking made that shit happen, and uh, nothing was ever the same after that. But he was a fucking, as you heard, you know, a, like, um, like Chet Atkins, a brilliant fucking guitarist, not just a goddamn, uh, you know what I'm saying... Not just a great yeah, one. Yeah, that's like years and years of skill, just fucking. But but even with that, even with that, the there's time. there's like something else. Like obviously they played fucking constantly, but a lot of people do. And they don't fucking. They don't have that thing. There's an extra little something besides just the skill. It's fucking. There's a brilliance behind it, that is inventive and there's just i mean it's on fire and you hear yeah, it's like innovating sound and yeah yeah i mean it's just like these uh, you can hear technique yeah it's like in that song you can hear les paul like inventing technique or like showing you his his invented technique stuff it's just like oh here check this out and he's just like doing these little rakes over the over the muted strings <laughs> And it's all, it's all this shit. It's like a brilliance. It, it's that thing that can't be taught. You know, you can have fucking... It's like Brillia. It's like Brillia for my... It's like Cilia for my Brillia. But it's it's like that, though, to me. It's, um... I wonder if he was taking any drugs. If anything, probably some sort of, uh... Some sort of speed. <laughs> no, I don't know. Who knows? I don't think so. I don't remember really. You, you never know, but 
I don't remember ever hearing anything about Les Paul being uh, all crazy and shit. He was just a good guy and fucking loved the guitar and was a goddamn innovator and an inventor. But here's another guy. dial that back for a minute because you know fucking all the scroogle bots will get all fucking nutty about it but there's another dude this guy just has something about it man I mean was he the best to have ever touched the instrument well obviously he would probably be regarded as one of them certainly but there's just something about the way they fucking play it just sticks with you and you're like that's a motherfucker right there. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm not trying to sound fatalist about it. Like, oh, some people just... But I mean, that's... Uh, lots of great ones, but then there's the brilliant. How about this fucking tune? Get to it, motherfucker. Was this Lionel Richie? <laughs> Dancing on the ceiling? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> David Burns started transitioning into this like Calypso shit. all we can do that is for in instructional purposes only not for enjoyment Do you like, I don't know, you, you like the Talking Heads? I mean, it's, it's one of those bands that's hard to really, yeah. hard to really hate on them, but. They're funky. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, such a distinctive voice. Awesome. And here's more from that, from that British guy. He's just got a great. His musical voice. I hear some phaser in there. Oh yeah. And they're doing stuff with the um, panning in the in the mixed out and shit too. Yeah. say there's also this guy <laughs> here hold on a second hold my beer I gotta I gotta do this solo really quick hold on a second all right, all right. 
Hang on a second. Let me turn up the Marshall a little bit here. All right, boys. Let's do this.